Hello! Shirin here, I'm a Japanese carpenter. In this video, I'm going to replace the stairs. I'll show you the demolition first. This staircase's design is rather unsafe. There are 5 steps in the 1 meter square. When going up, there's no place to put the right foot on the step. Also, there's no place to put the left foot when going down. The owner seems to have fallen down several times. I'm going to make a landing and a stair that can be easy to go up. I'm now going to demolish it. I'll remove the handrails first. This handrail material is the same as the one in my house. This is a 40 year old house. The house is about 2 to 3 years older than mine. The material is similar. It's not common to replace a staircase during the renovation. And at first, we planned to keep it. But while renovating, there was a talk of fixing the staircase. Therefore, additional renovations have been decided in a hurry. Next, remove the board from the wall. When demolition is needed, we usually ask for a wrecker. The wrecker will not care in what order to start the demolition. But if the carpenters do the demolition, we'll demolish it by taking the opposite procedure. In that way, it can be demolished more efficiently and conveniently. I forgot to wear my gloves. Usually, I don't wear them. Even if I don't wear gloves, my hands won't move the way I want. When I wear them, I feel like I don't have complete control over my hands. That's why I don't feel like wearing gloves. But many young people today can use tools and secure screws even when wearing gloves. Now, I'll take off the backside of the staircase. The place has been used for audio equipment. I guess there was a large stereo component. There is a drawing room under the staircase. I removed the backside of the staircase from there. As I mentioned, it'll be easier to demolish the staircase using the opposite procedure. It'll be tricky to demolish it if it's using this kind of board. Since this room won't be renovated, I'll cut it with a dull handsaw and leave the edges. I won't know how it is assembled or how many screws are used until I check behind the staircase. Also, when installing the new stairs, I'll install them from the backside. I won't install from the front. So I need to demolish the backside of the staircase and get under it to install from there. Even if I only have to replace the staircase, I will still have to demolish the entire backside. It looks like I'm smashing here and there in the video. If I remove the straight staircase, I won't be able to access the second floor anymore. There is a protruding part here. I'll demolish it while I can reach my hands from the staircase.
This time, I'm going to make a wide landing. Therefore, three steps will be placed in the part of the quarter of the second floor. I'll make a rough marks there. Next, I'll remove the spiral part that caused the problem. I think they struggled and were troubled when making this part. As it's installed by 5 steps in the 1 meter square, they must have taken courage and a lot of planning. I can imagine they were pretty surprised when it was finished and there was no space to take a step. But it's easy to demolish it. If I remove more than this, I won't be able to take a step. So I'll first remove the corridor area of the second floor. This is a typical type of flooring, so I can easily remove it. But the wall of the second floor of the corridor will be plastered over the old wall, so I can't scratch it anymore. As much as possible, I will avoid scratching the walls when demolishing. I cut it moderately, but I removed the floor more widely since the Hiuchi can't be removed. Anyway, I have to get inside the narrow space as it'll be a struggle there if I don't remove it. I'm going to install three steps of the staircase in this corridor space. Since I want to cut the girder beam, I'll install the horizontal member instead. I'll use a 120mm square lumber for the horizontal member. If I use a larger one, I need to cut the notch wider, making the horizontal member unstable. Since this space is narrow between the ceiling and the roof, it's hard to use a handsaw. If the handle gets in the way, it's no problem to take it off and only use the blade to cut. I'll secure the horizontal member with Hago Ita metal. I'll use a similar drill since I didn't have one that matched the side of the Hago Ita metal. It's a bit tricky, but I'll force myself to drill the hole. I'm shivering at the same time as I force myself to drill it. Process the horizontal member. I'll use 120mm square lumber of KD Cedarwood. Usually, this side of Hago Ita metal will be used by one, but I want to make it more durable, so I'll use two of them.
secures a horizontal member firmly with a Hagoita bolt. Now, even if I cut the girder beam on the back, the intervals won't shift. I'm sorry to be moving around, but I'll demolish the part under the circuit snags. That dozashi that I was using to install the horizontal member earlier is sinking down a bit. I'd like to support the weakest part of it by installing the column. I need to remove the flooring and check the foundation before installing the column. So I have no choice but to demolish the floor. There was a foundation and base in the right place where I wanted to install the column. Place the jack under the position where the dozashi is sinking down. We'll jack up as much as possible. This building's foundation are splendid, and the whole base is made of chestnut material. It's a striking chestnut base. I mentioned that the floor was 3 cm out of place in the previous video, but the building is not tilted at all. The columns are also splendid. But only two of the dozashi were thin and those have been bent and sinking down. That's what 3 cm out of place means. I can't lift it up, but I'm going to install columns so that it won't sink down anymore. Now I'll jack up. If there is a gap above the space, I'll fill it before jacking up. I'll make a wooden wedge from a hard material and insert it. If I don't do that, even if the jack appears to work, only the gap has been attached, so it can't support well. I'll jack up as much as possible. Since I've done jacking up, Finally, I'll cut the girder beam. I considered installing the staircase without cutting the girder beam, but there was no way without cutting it. I decided to cut the girder beam as it couldn't be avoided. But if it's a spiral staircase in the new building, there's no beam here. Chainsaws leave wood waste, but they're better for cutting the edges of flat materials. It's hard to cut the edges using a circular saw. Finally, I can demolish the main part of the staircase. The backside of the riser is nailed a lot. I'm making the hole to check those nails. Chainsaw the riser through the center and avoid the nails.
No, removes the visor. I can remove it quickly. After the demolition, I noticed it was not secured with nails on the riser. Only one nail was secured from the backside, and no glue was used. Someone may have thought that it'd make it easier for people to demolish it. I struggled a lot, but it only took 5 minutes to demolish the main part of the staircase. It was easy. Lastly, I'll demolish the part that is like a landing used for a foothold. I've now demolished the entire staircase. The staircase has been completely removed. In the following video, I'll build a staircase from scratch. That's all for today. Thank you for watching.